Hey everybody, it's Sonia here with Fresh Approach Fitness, a wellness company. How are you today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. You and I both know. It's one of my favorite parts of doing the intro for any anything I do, whether it's my lives or my podcasts. Um, okay, I don't think I do that for my workshops or my courses. Just saying, how is everybody today? Good. Take a deep breath. We're about to get started. I am so excited for what today has to bring. And this is another quick clip. So what I mean by that is this episode will be 15, 20 minutes or less. And we are going to tap into the fear of rejection. We're going to tap into what we can do about it where it came from what we can do about it and understanding that rejection itself is not the problem um i do have some tactical implement implement again keeping it real folks let me have a sip happy juice who here has heard of happy juice my own little promo because i am offering this product if you're curious let me know it pretty much eliminates caffeine Mm. Okay, I do have some tactical ways that you can implement this, these tips today into your life. And remember, when it comes to implementing anything into your life, that you want small incremental and something that you can sustain. If you can sustain it for a long period of time, if you can sustain it forever, if it is something that works with your life, do it. If it's something that will work temporarily, think about it. Really think about it. Sit with it. You see, when it comes to change, when it comes to growth, when it comes to taking the next step and having courage to do what needs to be done, it means facing the fear of rejection. It means being able to look at it completely differently. So are you ready? Let's tap into today's episode. Um, no one likes rejection, right? In fact, in fact, almost everyone would avoid it if they could. Wouldn't you agree? You know, but some people have more fear than others. And we know this by the people that we speak to. We know this by the way our body tenses up over certain things. In my work as a coach, I have met hundreds of wonderful people who live their lives under this heavy weight of fear, not realizing that rejection is an unavoidable part of living fully. And that's what this is all about. We're here to live fully. We're here to jump in with both feet, but stay in that space. So if that space is called, you know, fun, you can do different things for fun. Like we're, we're here to step outside our comfort zone. We're here to live life to the fullest, to wear pretty dresses, to curl our hair, to put red lipstick on, to be able to design our life our way. And a lot of that includes rejection. The Sylvester Stallone had once said, I take rejection as someone blowing up a bugle in my ear to wake me up and get going rather than retreat. Interesting perspective, flipping the script. You know, another one of the biggest fears, like this is one of the biggest fears that we have in our life is the fear of rejection. And you know, in many cases, think about this, fellows listening to this, we don't ask a girl for a dance because we feel rejection. Ladies in the house, we don't flirt with our men because we feel rejection. We don't put our hands up at corporate meetings because we feel rejection. And all of this stems, well, we're going to talk about some of this, where it stemmed from in just a minute. Let's go over a few more examples. How many times have you withheld sending your resume to a company because of fear of rejection? 
we don't even ask for the upgrade to business class or the best table in the restaurant because we fear rejection. You know, to reach your goals in life, you will have to learn how to handle rejection. It is a part of life. And in order to overcome it, you have to become aware of that. Same as failure. You know, it's only a concept in your mind. You know, sure, maybe the path didn't work out the way you thought it would. And perhaps it worked out better. Perhaps it worked out worse. Perhaps you don't understand why it's unfolding the way it's unfolding, but it doesn't mean that taking that different path is failure. That's the concept in your mind. You know, the most successful people in the world are not much different from you and I, or for many of us, really. They're just better at handling rejection. They laid everything on the line. When you go back and listen to their, their stories and their beginnings, most of them have humble beginnings. You know, being better at handling rejections is something, isn't it? Having such thick skin brings a visual to mind. On your way to your goals, you're probably going to have to face rejection Many times. Don't give up. Excuse me. Yeah, don't give up, my friends. Very interesting how this is affecting my throat chakra. In many ways, this is affecting my throat chakra. What do you think this message is for those that are catching this? Your throat chakra is your communication. Your throat chakra is speaking your truth. And when did it act up is when I said, just don't give up. I'm going to write that down. Who else felt that? Just don't give up. That clearly means something to me. My body just gave me a loud message. And when we can pick up pieces like this, we realize that we are exactly where we need to be. And that if we weren't here having this conversation, I wouldn't have had this message about just don't give up. And above all, my friends, don't take anything personally. Again, I need a sip. Give me a second. Mm. I need to open my card from today, my essential oil. For some reason, I believe there's a connection before I continue. So I pulled this oil and I don't know how to say it. Heli Chisram, I believe for anybody watching the video. And so you guys know I pull an essential oil for the room every day. I just kind of close my eyes and pick one. And whatever scent comes up, I will pull what it means out of this book. And I'm just going to read the affirmation. Again, my chakra is acting up. Actually, let's go. Okay, so here's what it looks like for anybody catching the video. And the wise words say, it's far better to grasp the universe as... A... Oh, it is far better to grasp the universe as it really is rather than to persist in delusion, however satisfying and reassuring, okay? So this scent appeared, um, the divine meaning is this card appears in your reading to congratulate you for all of your hard work. It is time for you to now have an easy ride and maybe take a new path. Getting out of a vicious cycle is not always easy, but when Heli Chisram comes up in a reading, it is reassurance that the universe understands that you have been going through a lot in your life, but asks you to be courageous and determined. What is your biggest pain right now? Just surrender. 
So the affirmation piece at the bottom is, I surrender to the pain. I believe I have learned the lessons it has presented to me. How fitting is it that in today's quick clips, we are talking about the fear of rejection. And I felt compelled based on my throat chakra acting up to share this card and this insight with you of helichism today. You know, when it comes to rejection, we can't give up and we cannot take things personally. You know, think about it. If you ask, ask anybody to go out with you and they don't want to, what's changed? He or she was not going out with you before and they're not going out with you now. So your situation is exactly the same. The rejection, it's not the problem. It's the inner dialogue. You start after being rejected. That is the problem. I knew I couldn't do it. I knew I wasn't good enough. My gosh, my parents are right. I'll never achieve anything in my life. What's the point, right? The important thing is, to go on, my friends, the most successful people is to get, okay, so let me, re, let me reframe this in a, in a different perspective. The most successful salespeople get to hear no a hundred times a day because they know that hearing no a hundred times a day is going to lead them to that one, that one yes. Give me a second here as I double check my notes before we go over how you got your fear of rejection. Just want to see. Um, okay, yeah, I did want to reiterate that one point. And, you know, when it comes to sales, it is a numbers game. Most. Most people have to talk to people more often than not in order to get the answers that they're looking for. So giving up before getting a certain amount of no's, giving up before you've been rejected over and over again is not going to get you to where you want to be. Let's go over how you got your fear of rejection. Let's take some time to, to dive quickly into that. You know, the first one is, you grew up rejected. You know, if one or both of your parents is rejecting you in your childhood, you're likely going to grow up to be a person who's highly sensitive. And being rejected as a child makes you feel insecure. And it could lead to trust issues with your parents because of consistency or lack thereof. And then it makes it feel like you cannot rely on anybody especially as a child, this will leave, especially when this happens in childhood, a parent rejecting their child, even subconsciously, could lead to a wound. And that wound can easily be poked at as you're growing up. The next one, you just don't believe in yourself or love yourself enough to accept expect acceptance from others in order to expect acceptance from others you must first accept yourself so when you feel unlovable deep down it's hard to imagine that you will truly be wanted by others for anything okay the next one childhood neglect if you felt neglected as a, in the childhood or if you were ignored, it's the feelings of not feeling good enough. If it, again, it's the feelings of being ignored and rejected. And it can make people feel flawed. You know, your deepest, darkest fear is to feel these things. Being aware of your fear. Oh, actually, you know what? We're going to talk now about your fear of how to fight it, how to fight it. So, you know, I went over the top three, how you got your fear of rejection and your fear of rejection could also have happened because of repeat actions. You know, 
being repeatedly laid off, being repeatedly turned down for dates or never being invited to a second date or any kind of repeated action could also help with that second point of not believing in yourself enough. You see, when you get prepared to be rejected many times on your way to success and you understand that the secret is not to give up, you know, especially when somebody says, no, thank you, I'm not interested, consider this as a next as you're working towards your nose. Did you know that Sylvester Stallone was rejected? Sylvester Stallone was rejected 70 times before Rocky, his, his script of Rocky was accepted. Jack Canfield's um, Chicken Soup for the Soul was rejected 130 times. And that actually made him laugh when he said that he wanted to sell 1 million of his books. Um, Chicken Soup for the Soul sold over 8 million copies. How about even the Harry Potter series was rejected 12 times? You know, so before we jump into some tactical suggestions, you know, I, I really want to ask you or, or share with you some ways that you can fight your fear. So we're going to go over these six different ways very quickly. I'm just going to tap the surface. But I would love to encourage you and invite you to book a time with me to go over these and do the wellness quiz. It's the chakra alignment quiz and book a call with me and let's go over these together. But you're going to know which one connects with you. So six ways, my friends, to fight your fear of rejection. Be aware of your fear. Try to understand the source of your fear. Start thinking of the rejection in a more complex way. You know, are you being redirected? What does it look like? Realize that the rejection is a sign that you're taking chances. And the universe needs us to take action before it gives us what we want. You know, working on learning to love and value yourself. Heal your childhood neglect so you can learn to create space for what is still to come because right now you're playing victim in that area and the wounded you is easier to stay in the sh shadow side of things which makes you feel inferior, flawed, or unimportant. So healing your childhood neglect, learning to love and value yourself, Realizing that rejection is a sign that you are taking chances. Start thinking of rejection in a more complex way. Try to understand your fear and be aware of your fear. And once you own your shadow, my friends, nobody can take it away from you. All right, before we sign off from today, I have two questions that I want you to sit and think about. What are you taking away from this? And how will you deal from rejection from now on? I know there is so much to unpack in this quick clip, my friends. But, 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 but. For most of us, it's a message landing exactly when we need it to land. So we can pause and reflect on rejection and on next and what it looks like. And remember, I am here to help you bridge the gap between where you are now and where you want to be. So if you don't currently have a life coach, reach out to me. I'd be pleased to answer any questions that you have and lock arms with you as we go through the next steps and the next journey together. Let me know what questions you have. Take a look at my link tree and I am here to support you every step along the way. This is Quick Clips, Quick Clips number 175. Woo, woo. Thanks for joining us today.